Hello and welcome to another video on the channel. So, um, I thought I was done speaking on abuse and my situation in general, but in being in a state of reflection um, and seeing as though how, I guess, widespread this whole situation has been, I felt it was both my responsibility and I owe it to myself, and it's an owe to myself to speak a bit more of my situation from my perspective and I guess how it, felt, how it has affected me and like reflect, reflecting on it and I guess how that's relevant to so many different people um, unfortunately and I feel like it's I guess the proper way to approach things um, in reclaiming my voice and my power and things of that nature so um, I think I'm going to do like a three-part series with this so this first one will be more so from my perspective a more like generality of like generalizing and identifying narcissists, narcissistic people in general. Um, the next video would be like systems of abuse in homes, and the final video would be like systems of abuse in organizations. Um, so, speaking a bit more of my situation from more of a personal, I guess you can say, perspective and reflecting on things, um, and seeing how things like got out of hand and escalated so quickly. Um, so I guess starting from, I guess, some observations I made, um, and when you're dealing with like a narcissist or narcissistic person, uh, the first thing you want to look out for is scapegoating and blame shifting. So one of the things I've noticed is that immediately, for one, they will, if there's, if you're dealing with a narcissist, they're more than likely, they're always going to be talking about some, someone else. And in doing so, what they're doing is they're setting that person up to blame shift and scapegoat that person for their behaviors and the things that they do. Um, so that's where you get things like smear campaigns. So they'll come to you and gossip about you about that person to one, make you see them in a negative light and to, um, portray them as being the person, uh, and project their behaviors onto that person to scapegoat that person. And that's how system of abuse form in general and in my, how in my particular situation, I became a major focal point of it. And I think that's how it spiraled into me trying to take more responsibility than I ever should or have to. And I think about, like in realizing that that has been part of uh, that has been part of gaining, I guess you say, my power back from that situation and starting to trust myself. Um, I want to say again, but in trusting myself, I guess for the first time as um, just a fact of my life not to complain or anything but I just honestly I didn't have a good I guess period of time to develop properly in the world like I just couldn't catch a break in life uh, it's just like it's been one thing after another after another after another after another and I think this period of rest reflection and healing has been like truly the only point of time where I could take the time to reflect heal, grow, and I guess properly develop. Um, and causing so much trouble for other people, which is why I compare them to being so childlike, I guess is a good way to put it, because like, and not taking responsibility for themselves for one, and taking advantage of the situation is just making it even worse. They cause so much trouble for other people. And this is why, I think one of the reasons why I do speak on narcissism and narcissistic abuse because it's such, I think it's a prevalent thing in our culture for one, and seeing how many people are, I guess you could say in places of power who act like this, or from like a childlike place, not realizing the responsibility of their words, their actions, and things of that nature. And how, I think we got to a place now where everything is like, like kind of out of control, and like the world is in a state of chaos. Uh, and the world is in a state of chaos in the way that it is now. Um, so I believe another thing that I want to, I guess, properly address and clear up is I never meant to take responsibility for their behaviors. It was just at the point in time I was at then, I guess you can say. Um, it's always been me trying to be at a place where I can properly reflect and speak on things without being sabotaged or dealing with their stupidity, which uh, I think is the appropriate way to put it because it is stupid, disgusting, stupid, disgusting, and I guess immature to try to place your behaviors on another person for one, as everything you do always will come back to you. So you never escape like your own karma for one. And it's just, 
this child, like, again, like, trying to escape responsibility. And it just causes so much trouble for people um, in general. So that's one thing that I want to, I guess, address and, I guess, truly, I guess, forgive myself for, as it always fell back on me. And it's something I never really had any control over. And, again, this is why it's so important to, I guess, look out for people who gossip a lot and, like, scapegoat other people because they engage in, they will do this to you for one like it doesn't matter who you are how old you are you're going to get like they will put you in a position to be scapegoated um which is why i find it like to be so disgusting because like they just just don't care about other people and like it just causes so much trouble um in general and how things i guess you could say like this can cascade into 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 madness i guess and societal psychosis and things of that nature and they do this and they wear it like as a badge of honor and pride, which again is just like one my mind I, I really can't wrap this around my mind because they do it to you, like behind your back. And they may like try to solely hint at it that what they're doing, but again I still cowardly because they do it behind your back and then they still wear it as a badge of honor and pride, which is honestly it's sad. So I guess again and like and trying and being in Reclaiming your power if you've been in like a situation um, similar to this is that it's not really indicative of your character, but it's indicative of their character. Um, and it's cowardly on their part to behave in such a manner and then take honor and pride in that behavior. So I guess that's another point where you can take your power back. And I guess seeing the truth of the character and how sad and pathetic that is. Um, so yeah. Um, ending off on that, I think the final point is I want to make it clear that I don't have any respect for these people or their character. Um, and in dealing with them, really, the only thing I wanted to do was to stop dealing with them. So I just want to make it sh as a statement, I guess, a self-respect that I don't respect these people. And I want to make that clear and apparent um, and understanding their character and the things that they've done behind my back. Um, and like I said, it's always been me trying to really step away from the situation and not being able to because of their stalking and persistence and trying to be a disturbance in my life. So, yeah, I think that was decently uh, articulated. So hopefully uh, this is truly me putting an end to this because like, it's, like I know it's kind of like out of my hand at this point. I have no control over like the ending of it. Um, and having and having to deal with so many people, different people, but on my part, this is really me trying to move forward, and and stepping out of that cage, I guess you can say, and into freedom. I guess is a good way to put it. So yeah, hopefully I did a decent job at articulating myself in an appropriate manner and speaking the truth to the degree that is possible. So yeah, um, I think I explained that decently, articulated myself decently enough. So yeah. Uh, that's about it for this one as always until next time